were awaiting a speech of Volno Ilya Nikolaevich, born in Moscow, graduated from Bauman Moscow State Technological University. Ilya Nikolaevich is candidate of technical sciences, worked as a researcher at the Technical University Mining Academy in Freiburg, Germany. Deputy Director of Science in Moscow State Industrial University, currently Director of the Center of Poly uh, Technological Support of Education at Moscow Polytechnic University, author of more than 65 scientific publications and four monographs, Curator of Science Art Exhibition Project, Media Artist, Developer of the Authored science art as technological as technology of thinking Volnov Ilya Nikolaevich candidate of technical sciences uh, associate professor director of the center for technological support of education of Moscow Polytechnic University Moscow Russia with his report the synthesis of science and art as an alternative to digital transformation Dear friends, thank you so much for this opportunity to take part in this conference. I am feeling very good. It's, it's like feeling of uh, completeness. Sometimes they say I'm embracing you with music. Musicians say that. And I would like to embrace our world. And we are doing that because we are broadcasting to all the continents. We are embracing the whole world. And by doing that, I would like to say that this world is seen actually very scary things. Sometimes you can be scared by that, but Mrs. Blavatska had so many times an opportunity to be scared, but she wasn't scared, and we should not be scared. Let's have a look what we can oppose to this so-called digital transformation. I will say a couple of words by estimation of uh, this uh, idea, but let me start from an, a word from unveiled, Isis unveiled, human structure, just like the universe is formed from triangles. Very interesting phrase. We'll see why it is formed from triangles. Let's move on to the next slide. Something about this new future that management elites gives us. Far too often it turns into sustainable development digital transformation, green economics, what is it? It's an attempt to keep status quo, but those elites that are managing us and keeping this, this status quo is getting harder and harder. A scenario of uh, sustainable development is launched. It's oxymoron, you, this development cannot be sustainable. They suggest to digitalize man and culture and move on to so-called uh, matter universe, which is a mix of uh, real universe and virtual. So you can just uh, pause your reality and go back. It's uh, not something normal. And they want uh, it to be managed by artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? It's uh, quite a scary thing. I hope that we will understand it's something unbelievable uh, future, impossible future, even though now it is presented by, by as uh, only possible future. And I'm surprised that this society believes that. I would say, no, it's not our future. No, we will build another future. Yelena Petrovna Blavatska said, the materialism of today was born from the root yesterday. If its growth is not delayed, it will become our master. We raise our voice 
for spiritual freedom. We are for liberation from any tyranny, be it the tyranny of science or theology. And we should add to this list uh, technologies as well. Technologies are now the cornerstone. The humanity think that technology will solve our issues, but it is not so. What has been going on with science? It's happening like that because we are building on the logic of material science. It said that everything created from stochastic or random processes. So humans and the whole universe is a result of random processes. That's why we are not perfect and we can improve ourselves according to technology and science. We are moving along this scenery of transhumanism. We are trying to create hybrid systems mixed with our structures and that after that there will be minimization of uh, our biological beings and we will move on to non-humans we are talking about wars like limitless war against humans we can have a look at uh, philosophy here they say that it's uh, like satanism i say this and what do you think about that we are working on that in terms of uh, science. We are moving along this path, trying to follow the scientific logic. This logic cannot survive. This means that this science will go distinct or transform. Let's have a look at uh, the last century. Two, um, two revolutionary transformation happened according to Stopin. Um, classical physics moved to relativity theory, non-classic physics, and then after new understanding of uh, synergy and quantum mechan mechanics, it moved on to post-neoclassical form. You can uh, uh, visualize it uh, with a triangle according to slides. So uh, in, the classical science works only on object. Non-classical adds method there, and non and post-classical creates the whole triangle and adds subject there. The result of our uh, studies is influenced by subject and object, that is, by a human being. I would like to ask you the following question, moving on a little bit. In Greek tradition, harmony and beauty is understood through symmetry. The question is, is this triangle of science is symmetrical in modern science? And I would actually would like to emphasize your attention to the fact that it is not asymmetrical. Our science is not symmetrical. We need to restore this symmetry. Let me give some other examples. So there are arguments in favor of asymmetry of this triangle. For example, the crisis of scientific knowledge. We are observing it. Uh, those who listen to me, pay attention that science is incapable of uh, responding to global challenges. And the global of our time nowadays that we see, for example, in uh, customization requirements of industry, the necessity to personalize uh, education, for example, we cannot know how to do that. Uh, and uh, in terms of challenges of artificial intelligence as well. One of the theses, uh, one of the ideas is as follows. Science, even after these two transformation, still wants to um, be separate from other forms of uh, knowledge, uh, like art, philosophy, and religion. I would like to show that this uh, Separation is not possible. Science will have to extend its uh, field and start be 
linked with reality, without communication with other areas of knowledge, science will not be able to overcome its crisis that is linked with uh, the crisis of human existence. I will talk about art, but uh, other fields are important as well. Let's pay attention, more attention to uh, science, to how it works, how it functions, how it lives. First of all, methodological uh, principle of science is repeatability of results. Science says that only repeatable results can be scientific. If you find a unique result that you cannot recreate or repeat, this unique result automatically is excluded from a science and from scientific field. Science pay no attention, is blind to, to unique results. How can we uh, consider creating personalized uh, educational projects for individuals, for unique personalities, if science is blind to uniqueness? Now, art, it works with uniqueness as well. If uh, a piece of art is not unique, it fails to be a piece of art. It becomes a piece of craft and work. Now, how science thinks, it's, it considers method of optimal thinking as absolute, obsolete or rather universal. They consider the uh, Akama razor as something optimal, well-known principle. The principle of uh, thinking uh, effective process that helped us to go to space to understand the nuclear power. But this principle will not allow us to go to overcome the crisis that is caused by acceleration of scientific development. Um, any accelerated development causes uh, the crisis of such a system. And by saving methods, you cannot overcome this uh, principle. You have to go to the opposite, to excessiveness, which is absent in science. But art is based on the excessiveness of thinking. For example, a poet who wakes up uh, at night and starts writing their poems on the wallpapers, this is uh, not an optimal thinking. Of course, you can write uh, by sitting at the desk, but if you are inspired, you would do that on the wallpapers. Another example, how science, how do, does science build logic? Science excludes any contradictions. If you face a contradiction, they say your logic is uh, wrong. Go think again. But we like... Uh, contradictions. Th scientific thinking would be called monolithic by philosophers, but our world is built out of contradictions. Art is built on contradictions. The power of uh, manifested contradiction is determined, is explained or rather shown through the magic of art. Look at Mona Lisa. She's smiling with one part of your mouth and he, she's sad with the other. It's a contradiction. And we can uh, talk about some more profound forms of uh, such manifestations. I named just uh, some examples, but today I would like to talk about time. We see that as well as we see the restrictions of scientific knowledge here. I would like to uh, say some examples. Uh, for example, time is very interesting substance. And I hope that after this, uh, after this uh, report, you would say that we understand uh, time in a different way. Science, we as uh, Western civilization are built on Greek tradition. By, but in Greece, we see two types of time, Kronos, for example, and the other one. Let's have a look at the definition of Kronos. Kronos uh, 
is the guide of uh, at limitless time and cycles. But this is uh, the, according to Greek tradition, Kronos actually is different. After the moment, a certain moment, we see that the second aspect is expressed when Kronos is depicted crippling Uranus, his father. And after that, absolute time becomes finite and conditional. A part is taken from the whole, thus showing that Saturn, the father of the gods, was transformed from eternal duration into a, a limited period. Another aspect of time is as follows. Time is integrating into our material reality and it becomes limited time. What does science do? It uses previous linear and cyclic aspects and science rejects cyclical time or cyclic time and it gets only linear form of time while discarding the cyclic form and it works only with linear time and then uh, it is understood mechanically and it is uh, understood as space so the time the linear time is understood as space two moments of time uh, like two points of space cannot be superposed on each other. And this time and space are rejected uh, and removed uh, of everything that uh, is not describable in mechanical mo movements. So time and space is desacralized and becomes become empty, mechanical and dead. And so we see that they are desacralized. We're talking about classical and non-classical science, and they are formulated for dead time. Hence, hence it's uh, getting comprehensible that when modern science is trying to describe a living system, it fails. There are so many wrong examples of building models because living systems live through uh, through time that uh, can live but the science is created for dead time in order to create living systems we need to go, go out of uh, dead time uh, we mentioned uh, chronos and the cyclic form of chronos is let's call it cyclus uh, and another important part is Kairos. Kairos is, you, you have to have art to work with Kairos. And this art is called spontaneity. Uh, we are talking about art. They, there are no such forms of time and science, but they are the basis of art. The art of working with Kairos waits for inspiration and it uses uh, cyclic forms of time while building upon each other. So art becomes uh, non linear discrete and uh, no, discontinuous, immeasurable. So we get back to three times of three forms of time, a linear, cyclic, and spontaneity, which are called uh, Kronos, Cyclos, and Kairos. Two triangles, triangle of knowledge, method, object, and subject, and triangle of uh, time, Kronos, Cyclos, Kairos, and uh, triangle science, art, and technology that I worked on. Now, moving back to symmetry in Greek tradition, we can state that triangle of modern uh, science are not symmetrical, they are deformed. Classical science is uh, a triangle that are denigrated to one vertex of linear time. In non-classical science, 
The situation is better, but it's also denigrated. And uh, we can actually, in the science, art, and technology, create uh, the types of scenarios as symmetry of triangles. If we are building a scheme, we need to keep it symmetrical. If uh, in scenario this triangle is deformed, this is a wrong future. Let's have a look at uh, artificial intelligence. It is in linear chronics, which means that it is not our future. Digital transformation is also is not our future. It's uh, just satanism, as I said. Uh, art can be understood as a, as a way to restore symmetry of these triangle balances. It's a career of uh, Kairos and uh, Cyclus. And by carrying it, its ways of understanding of time, it harmonizes and brings beauty into our, in the different forms of human activities. In those forms that are provoking crisis, synthesis of uh, art and science will give a new way of science that will be based on the principle of beauty. We don't have it now, but it should be based on the binary uh, relations uh, within this trial. For example, uh, in technology and uh, Art, we will have a new form of relation technical uh, science. And uh, on another uh, line between art and science, we will get uh, scientific art. Art is now one of the best uh, methods. So thank you for this exhibition and amazing works that are exhibited here. It's what we need in order to harmonize everything, the whole cosmos. And through this network that embraces uh, embrace our planet, I hope that we will bring beauty. Dear friends, thank you so much for this, for your attention. We were happy to be with analysis with you uh, to uh, make this research of digital transformation. Probably this problem of uh, challenges in the future in the society that you have formulated can be compensated with synthesis of art and science and can keep technology from completely subordinating society to material digital transformation. This confirms the ways of consciousness development in the light of the study of the secret doctrine as the synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy. Thank you so much for science art as for a way of thinking. I have a commentary of Mr. Shubkin. You are welcome. It was a great report, Mr. Volnov, and I'm almost I almost agree, but from one remark, digitalization that it is in place that you've mentioned and that you presented in such a great character, it's absolutization of applied sciences and lack of fundamental breakthroughs in science. All technology that is uh, established is based on all the discoveries of the 20th century. There are no discoveries, but these new discoveries are made by artists. In science, uh, it is a breakthrough. Fundamental science uh, is actually uh, this creativity. But now these discoveries are meant to happen. The science is close to it, and I think it will happen synthesis of science, theosophy, and religion will happen, mentioned by HPB. Thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot avoid saying that if you imagine, Mr. Volnov, that space is human mind, if chronos is thought, then we will not in the deadlock of limits that you've mentioned, even if it's digital technology and uh, the digit can become number because there is uh, the internal movement of thought.
But my project in Russia in August was called Number as Image, and the exhibition is built on the idea that now the situation contradicts um, figure to number. We have only figure, we don't have any number, but we should come back to this number. This is chimeric uh, un unity of this digit or figure and number. Let this figure remain in Zuckerberg's universe, but we are for number and we are going for um, uh, the number. It was already done by HPP, so we should study it.